If you want to make an end to waste motor oil pollution, you have to come up with a clever solution. Pyrolyze.com can do this with its innovative waste motor oil pyrolysis plant. Let me take you on a tour. First, waste motor oil is pumped from the storage tank into the pyrolysis reactor. The pyrolysis reactor is heated up to around 400 degrees Celsius. This ensures that all the waste motor oil is vaporized effectively. Oil vapors from the reactor travel to the catalyst tower. The catalyst tower has a special honeycomb structure so that the wax-like long-chain hydrocarbons are cut down to the desired length of diesel and naphtha range oils. The vapors from the catalyst tower then pass into the diesel condenser where only diesel oil factions are condensed. Naphtha range oil along with syngas vapors are passed through without condensing. The condensed diesel oil is pumped through a 5 micron filter to remove black gummy and solid waste particles. After filtration, the diesel oil is pumped into a diesel storage tank. Naphtha range oil vapors pass through a cyclone separator and are condensed in the naphtha condenser. After condensing, the naphtha range oil is stored in a separate naphtha tank. The water circulation pump continuously circulates water in the diesel and naphtha condensers to condense the oil vapors. All vapors that have not been condensed in the condensers are non-condensable gases called syngas, comparable to LPG gas. The syngas from the naphtha condenser tank travels to the syngas tank. When required, the syngas is led to the burner which heats the reactor. Therefore, the pyrolysis plant is a closed loop process ensuring zero gas emission to the atmosphere. The plant is operated through an automated PLC control panel which guarantees safe and stable operation. As soon as the first batch is pyrolyzed, more waste motor oil can be pumped into the reactor at the rate of 40 liters per hour. Therefore, about 250 liters of waste motor oil can be pyrolyzed daily. The machine is also capable of pyrolyzing waste plastics such as polyethylene, polypropylene, and polystyrene types of plastics. The capacity of the plant for waste plastics is 20 kilograms per batch. The waste plastics can be placed in the reactor manually through a flange at the top of the reactor. This is preferably done at the beginning of the daily waste motor oil pyrolysis process. At the end of the pyrolysis process, only some waxy carbon ash is left behind in the reactor, which can be easily removed manually. The waxy carbon ash has no toxic properties and can be used for road carpeting. The pyrolysis plant is pre-installed on a skid, easily transportable and self-sustaining via a closed loop process. The produced syngas delivers all the energy that is needed to run the plant. The plant is highly efficient, which means that around 90% of the waste motor oil is transformed into diesel, naphtha and syngas. You can learn more about this technology at pyrolyze.com. Thank you